Welcome to The Beer TV. Here we are with Red Cathedral and Xavi Garriga, publisher of The Beer. How are you, Xavi? Fine, fine, thank you. And well, they, this is our first video in English. I uh, hope that people will understand us. Yeah, it's strange for me to talk with you in English, but. For me too. We speak in <laughs> Catalan, we speak in Spanish, now we speak in yeah. English, but. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think there's a lot of people out there that maybe don't know us well the beer as we well do. actually it's funny that we started talking about languages because language is one of the things that uh, the beer has uh, in plenty because uh, in our meetings we speak in catalan we speak in spanish we speak in italian we speak in portuguese and we speak in english because we have people uh, of uh, and brazilian 20, portuguese of, of course uh, <laughs> and, and spanish from uh, chile and argentina yeah. so there is a lot of different accents and languages when the people from the beer uh, uh, it's together it's together yes okay a little bit of the story of the company and Xavi, yes, we the, are, the beer we was founded uh, more than 30 years ago, 33, I guess, uh, in Brazil uh, as a comic uh, publishing distributor. And after that, they started to bring some uh, trading card games and after that, role playing games. And then they moved to Portugal. They opened also uh, an office in Spain. And then they did the, uh, the, the, the other way back. We crossed the ocean to uh, open companies in Mexico, uh, Colombia, Chile. And now, uh, and now we are in Argentina too. And we cope with all the Spanish speaking countries. And now we have an office also in US and another one in Italy. So yeah. we have plenty of people working for the beer now. <laughs> so we are in board games industry. Uh, yes. The beer license a lot. <clears throat> yes, we are the Spanish and Portuguese uh, language uh, publishers of games like uh, Catan, Carcassonne, of course, uh, children's games, family games, uh, even board games. We have a huge uh, line of GMT games like Twilight Struggle, Hirayistan. Uh, we also do more core-oriented games like War of the Ring. I think that we have a huge portfolio. We have more than 300 games in our portfolios mm. in all the, the language that we have already spoke. And uh, now we are opening our, well, not, not now. We uh, started like 10 years, ten years ago. ago, but now it's getting more and more motion. Yeah. Our own games, uh, maybe uh, you have heard about some games like Paris, uh, La Cité de la Lumière, uh, Holmes, um, Sherlock vs. Mycroft, yes. A Fast Food Fear, Color Monster, and well, those games have been successful the last years. Yes, some of them have been published not only by us, but some of our partners in, in a lot of languages. Color Monster is being published in more than 20 languages. Wow. Uh, Paris is uh, about to be published in one dozen languages too, so we are quite happy with our last uh, new games. And the uh, last effort, uh, the new game for this year, one of them, it's Red Cathedral. That's going to be uh, released on Essen, Spiel, more or less, yes. mid-October. Yes, the new Essen Spiel. The new uh, digital Spiel. Yes, it's a pity because we were mm, really mm, hoping the, yeah. the, to have the, the, the opportunity to bring to the test and the authors to do a lot of uh, yeah. demos. And now it will be a different lesson, but we hope that people will enjoy it. Tell the truth, Xavi. You wanted to be uh, dressed like a Russian, drink vodka at Essen. <laughs> Actually, that's the, that's the reason why we publish the game. That's the main reason. <laughs> yes. We have our Russian costumes uh, from when we released uh, Russian Railroads, yeah. the Hunting Club game. We did a, a huge party to launch the game, and we still have those costumes, so we were thinking about using them again. We did some things with Miguel Strogov as well. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, we have a, a heart for, for Russian-themed uh, games. Yeah, Here I know. I know it. Yes. So uh, this is Red Cathedral. Uh, it's a game that it's very expected. It's one of the highest games on the yes. BGG pre-release yes. list. What's the story behind Red Cathedral? Well, the game is designed by uh, two Spanish authors, Israel and Sheila, and they have been publishing games uh, for a while. 
and we have been talking with them for several years, uh, looking for the perfect project to, we, to work with them, because we were eager to work with them, and they too. And finally, uh, the, the opportunity arises with Red Cathedral, that is a uh, Euro game. This is uh, a maybe medium. Yes, this is a medium uh, uh, Euro game, maybe a little bit more complicated than we have published mm -hmm. until now. But it's a perfect uh, Euro game for, for everybody, actually. We love the theme, we love the mechanics. I think that they did a, a great job. It, it's a game that it has been developed for several years, actually. Mm. We saw the first prototypes uh, maybe five years ago. But uh, not only they, I think that uh, our publisher, David, did a really, really good job uh, doing the, the final tuning of the game. And of course, the, the work of uh, Pedro Soto and Chema, Chema, Roman. Chema Roman in the in, in the pencils and Jordi Roca doing the, the yeah. overall graph. I think that it's a really, really good uh, product. There's a lot of Euro games presented at Essen, <coughs> yes. but it seems that this one is special. People is expecting with a lot of passion and I think that uh, it's one of the main releases of the last years for the beer. Yes. So what makes Red Cathedral special? Well, it's a couple of things. I think that the theme is really cool. Uh, Which is? The thing is that uh, you have to uh, compete in order to be the best architect uh, in building the Saint Basil Basil or Basil uh, Cathedral <laughs> in Moscow in the uh, 16th, century. 16th century. You have that uh, that uh, commitment and that commission, and you have to to do better than your uh, competitors. Actually, you can even play the the game as a solitary game, yep. competing with yourself. And I, I think that uh, the game is for one to four player, and it works well with all the all the range of players and that is not something that you find easily and it has really a, a cool mechanic that it's this rondo that you throw uh, you use this dice to move and you to get things but afterwards you throw them again and you have to think a lot about the numbers on the dice in order to get the the, the resources you really need but you have to play also in the real cathedral building it Every, in every game, you will have a different uh, scheme of how to, to build the cathedral. You have several of them, and the cathedral is based on uh, uh, the base, the medium part, and the, the cupules. And you have to bid for uh, each one of, of that. You, uh, you have also a double kind of uh, victory points mm. that yeah. you have to, to try to... to to be on on the on the two sides, so it has it has plenty of things, but it's not a complicated game. I think that is pretty cool. Yeah, that's not easy to find a game that offers a yes. lot of options, but it's easy to teach, easy to play, Absolutely. a lot of fun. It has really cool components. Really cool components. Yeah, there's and a it's lot and of it work. has something that it has been really discussed here in the beer that. Uh, David, our, our publisher, insists in having that small box. And uh, everyone was telling David, it's impossible that you fit <laughs> all this content in that small box. It's absolutely impossible. It's not going to fit. But he managed to do that. So there is no, absolutely no air in this box. When you open it, it's huge. It's uh, a lot. It's top. full of components <laughs> there. It's wooden and cardboard. And uh, even uh, cool and gyms, so yeah. it's. I think that it's a really, really compact game. Yeah. So, uh, Xavi, what kind of people do you think will enjoy Red Cathedral the most? I think that uh, people that likes games, of course, but uh, people that are looking for a game that it's, as you say, explain it fast that it doesn't take a long uh, time to play. I think that it's playable in one hour and 20 mm. minutes. Something like that. Yes, one hour, one hour and 50, something like that. And, and a game with cool mechanics uh, that it's not complex, but it's deep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we hope that this is going to be a big success at Essen. So if you're interested in Red Cathedral, you know, mid-October will be there. 
Absolutely. Thank you very much, Xavi, for your time. That was my pleasure. Okay, see you in the next video. Okay, bye. bye.